You guys ready to learn some more slang? Do you like bread? Mm-hmm. Um, we eat a lot of bread in Canada. And sometimes when we eat bread, bread actually means money. I'm going to teach about slang. Going to the bakery. For some strange reason, 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 we have a lot of slang words about toast. I guess we love toast. I'd like to share with you the magic of toast. <clears throat> this, ladies and gentlemen, is a lovely piece of bread. However, there is a magic machine called a toaster. And you put the bread into the toaster and doo -doo -doo -doo, it becomes toast. So, toast and bread are very different. Toast is heated bread that's delicious and bread is just bread. So, let's go on and learn some slang, slang, slang about bread and toast. The first one is bread means money. Also, the word dough. Now, this pronunciation is strange. It looks like dough. Hug. But it's actually just dough. So, you will hear in movies, Hey, you got the dough? And you're like, are they making a pizza? Why are these bad guys making a pizza? They're not actually making a pizza. They're talking about money. This actual part of the bread that I have, um, bread is sold in a loaf. <laughs> I'll teach you about loaf after, but actually this part of the bread that I have is called the heel of the bread, H-E-E-L. This means it's the last piece of the bread or the end of the bread. So the heel of the bread is the last piece, usually, or the first piece. Usually people don't eat this one. I don't know. Poor heel of the bread. Um, heel also has a slang meaning. It means a bad person. So. If you say he's a heel or she's a heel, it generally means that they're bad people. So, heel means a bad person. Um, as I told you before, we have the word loaf. Loaf means the quantity of bread. But English slang is so crazy. <laughs> We've made it dirty for you. Loaf, you will hear people say pinch. A loaf. So maybe you're watching TV or watching a movie or your Canadian friend says, Hey guys, I got a pinch of loaf. Pi pinch? Pinch of loaf? Why are you touching my bread? Pinch of loaf actually means go to the toilet and go poo. Yay. Or take a shit. So, pinch a loaf means you actually have to poo, not anything to do with pinching my piece of bread here. Um, another word, roll. Roll is like a piece of bread that's rolled up. It looks like this a lot. Um, this in slang means go or leave. So, you will hear people say, let's roll, and like, Rolling, roller coaster. Roll just means a piece of bread, but it means let's go. Come on now, let's go. And bun is a hairstyle where all the hair is on the top of your head or near the back of your head. It's really popular for women, um, but it's becoming popular for men if they have long hair. Looks like a bun too. Would you like this bread? It's delicious. Um, Buns, in the plural, mean your bum eh, or your rear end. So if you're walking down the street and someone says, hey, nice buns, huh, it means your rear end, your buttocks or your bum. So it's a compliment. Nice buns. Why, thank you. Bun in the oven means that the person is pregnant. So they have a bun in the oven. The oven would be the uterus, I guess, and the bun would be the baby. Again, I'm not too sure how these words came about in slang, but they did. 
Uh, the next one. When you're going to the bakery store, a bun is like a roll. Buns and rolls are very quite similar. If you have a hamburger, it's the bread that you put between the meat. So a bun and a roll, almost the same thing, but a muffin's different. Um, so bun really is the bread of a hamburger, but it can be a hairstyle or your rear end. No, bun in the oven, a muffin top. Muffins are like cupcakes or sweet bread, but they don't have any icing on top. So a muffin top, this is crazy, this is funny, is a person who wears their pants too tight and their midsection fat, so all the fat from the side hangs over their pants. So muffin top is something that we would try to avoid but it actually looks like you have a muffin on the top of your buns. Do you have muffin top? It's, it's you know what, ladies, gentlemen, it's, it's not really sexy to have a muffin top. Of course, you're gonna have some body fat, but try and tuck it in. Maybe buy a pants a bit bigger. Get rid of your muffin top. Um, oh, Ronnie, gotta have a nice one. Sweetie pie. Sweetie pie genuinely means that the person is nice. Aw, so you can say, Ronnie's such a sweetie pie. The, what, Ronnie? The, this, this one? Yeah, I know. Um, let's move on to the enormous task of the toast. You probably know this definition of toast. It's very um, common. You'll see in movies. The people will be at a wedding in Brazil and they're like, Raise a toast to the bride and groom, and they drink. Mm -hmm. So, toast means like saying cheers, and usually the person has a we, which means small speech, to talk about the people. So at a wedding, raise a toast to the bride and groom, and someone usually talks incessantly about the bride and the groom. Um, this is where we get into the lowdown of the slang. Toast as an adjective means it's broken. So you might hear someone say, my car is toast. You drive toast? That's insane. Oh, it means it's broken. My computer is toast or uh, my marker is toast. It basically just means it's broken. <laughs> this is weird. Um, when we talk about people, People cannot be broken. You can't say, I am broken. You can say you're hurt badly, but we never say people are broken. Things can be broken, but not people. Um, to be hurt badly. So someone might say, if you mess with him, you're toast. I'm bread in the toaster all of a sudden. Again, it means that you are going to get hurt very badly. This is like a warning or a threat. Toasted. This means drunk or stoned. Stoned means you've done some kind of drugs. The exact same definition for toasted would be baked, which has to do with the bakery. Baked means you're high on drugs. So does stoned. So baked, stones, and toasted means that you're high on drugs, but toasted can mean drunk or stoned. Mm -hmm. Slang gets difficult. So you might hear someone say, well, I was toasted last night. That means they're drunk. If you hear your friends or people you know or on TV, people say, let's get, let's get toasted, man. It probably means they're smoking some drugs. Um, there's a DJing phenomenon called toasting. If you're familiar with dance hall or reggae music or one of my favorite 1960s Jamaican uh, ska music, there's something called toasting. And this is basically ly lyrical chanting over rhythm. Yeah, man, bring the rhythm one time slowly. Rhythm basically means music. It's like a Jamaican word for music. And we would know it as DJing. So maybe you go to a club and 
a song is playing and the guy or the girl on the mic, the microphone is yapping incessantly. I'm just coming up next, blah, blah, blah. Yap, 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 yeah, guys, welcome to the club. We're having a great time. Yeah, yeah. This, but if you actually say words and almost sing, is called toasting. There's famous, a really famous ska band called the Toasters. That's how they get their name. Um, toast is also apparently New York City slang for a gun. Now, reaching out there, ladies and gentlemen, do you know Fitty? Cent, also 50 Cent. He's a rap, a rap, rap guy, rap star, rapper, rap, rap, rapper, and from New York City. In his song, Wankstha, he talks about never leaving home without toast. <laughs> He's not eating bread. He doesn't like bread. It actually means a gun. That's something I had to look up. If you have questions about delicious toast, please, Go and ask a baker. Maybe they can help you. Or ask me. Catch you later.